fantastic day, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I like to break things. That's why my team has built a chaos engineering framework in order to bring chaos into the system. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, my name is Leo. I'm a tech lead software engineer at Wix. I like to produce music on my free time, and I'm glass half full kind of guy. So what is chaos engineering? When you deploy something in production and it breaks half of your system, that's called, well, I'm fucked. But when you do the exact same thing, but on purpose, that's called chaos engineering. Generally speaking, chaos engineering is a way to test if your system is resilient and strong enough against any problem that can occur. So why do we need chaos engineering? We needed to identify a weakness in the system through controlled experiments. Whenever we run the chaos experiment, we want to make sure that the system is still working as it should. If something bad happened during the experiment, we stop it, we return everything as it was before, we write down the issue in order to resolve it later, and make sure that this issue never happens again. We also want to collect lots of metrics, such as traffic rate, error rate, and everything that, in theory, this experiment would affect. And we want to increase confidence in our system uh, by finding out all the problems and making sure that there is an automatic mitigation to those issues. Now, what is chaos experiment? Chaos experiment is an automated set of steps that injects chaos into the system. In order to create a chaos experiment, you first need to understand what kind of chaos you're going to do. Let's say our system has 10 servers up and running, and they're communicating with each other. What's going to happen if we will emulate that one of the servers will suddenly die? Let's do exactly that. After that, we need to define a steady state. A steady state is a set of probes or functions that checks that your system is currently steady. In our case, having 10 servers up and running could be a steady state. Additionally, we could have some kind of metric, metrics like error rate, and we would expect zero or a very low amount of errors. Then comes the actions. They usually consist of destructive functions that would actually kill the server. Once those actions have done their job, we will run steady state again to make sure that everything is still stable. That means if we kill a server, should uh, some service like Autoscaler or whatever should bring this dead server back up before the steady state launches. Then comes the rollback. It should clean up everything you've done with the system. For example, if the server didn't relaunch, that means there's a weakness in your system and that you have to resolve it later. But for now, this rollback should bring this server back up. Now that we've understood what, kind of, what a chaos experiment is, we can go through a real experiment that we've done in our system. All weeks consist of a couple of data centers. Each data center is connected to a couple, a couple of ISPs that provide connectivity to those data centers. Every minute in all the data centers goes through many, many gigabytes of data. Now imagine what's going to happen when one of those ISPs suddenly go out of service. And that's what we did. We called it ISP link down. ISP, as you know it, is a local internet service provider, the one who gives you the ability to serve the internet. In our case, those are tier one ISPs that provides connectivity to our data centers. ISP link is a physical port that allows the connections to go through. We emulate a physical failure of one of the ISP links by picking a random data center, by picking a random ISP link and disabling it. And then we wait a few minutes, then our steady state runs again to make sure that it didn't have any impact on the users. Then we, in the rollback, we bring this ISP back up. Uh, using this experiment, we found out that that we found out a lot of uh, issues in the system, and we resolved it, and now our system is much, much stronger. If you're interested more in chaos engineering and you want to get more details, this is my email. 
US programming, gmail.com. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>